<laughs> hey guys, <laughs> welcome to Old Reader, New Reader. So um, Omar is in Florida for the week, which is great. He's like, well, we can just cancel the show. And I'm like, no way. Listen, let's get my girls in here and let's still do Old Reader, New Reader. So for those of you who watch the show often, you will of course recognize Tina. Hey. I pointed the right direction. <laughs> Um, and for those of you who join me on Sundays, you're going to recognize Kristen at the bottom. Hey. So it's like a mini, kind of like fangirls, basically. Yeah, reuniting. Yeah, it's just going to feel weird not to do our in-stock trades push at the beginning of this. Yeah. We don't even have to. <laughs> oh, wait, have can you to. just do that right now? You kind of just did. Y'all should, y'all should check out in-stock trades. <laughs> it's a really good website. It's a really good website. You can buy that book. I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't check. I don't know what their stock is. Anyways, hey guys. Hope <laughs> everything's good. Thanks for joining us on Thursday. Uh, we had to push it back just to give us a little more time to catch up because I didn't settle on a book until a little too late. Well, uh, so it was Monday. My library didn't have the book, so I either had to find somewhere to buy it or download an app. So I downloaded an app. <laughs> Sorry. <Thank you. laughs> so we are, we've read. Uh, on a Sunbeam by Tilly Walden. So in this case, good, I'm, I'm glad that you have the book with you, Kristen. So <laughs> in the know. library, <laughs> yes. I can pull up my phone real fast. Right. I, like. Mine was way overdue and I had to return it. <laughs> Along with all my other Tilly Walden books. It, it like, reminded you of it, right? You're like, oh yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. So in this case, usually I'm the, I'm the new reader uh, and Omar's the old reader, but this time it's me and Kristen. We're the old readers. Right. I'm the new reader. And Tina is our new reader. So Tina, have have you ever, I don't think you've read any first, second published books. Before. No, I don't. Well, I mean, it depends on the titles, but um, I haven't read anything by uh, Tilly. So this was all new. Her art style was new to me. The story was new to me. Everything was new. Good. I'm really excited because I've. I mean, I've told Chris this a million times, so I've been dying to get you into first, second books. And I've told Omar this too, like this, you know, as a publisher itself, first, second has been like one of my really top picks over the past year, really. Everything I've read from them, I haven't read anything that was like, yeah, this is a dud. Everything I've read has been really different and fun. And I've just been really pleased with it. Like, you know, even my like least favorite pick from first, second, I still think are good books that I'd recommend. Mm-hmm. And they're really just exciting new stories. I'm really happy with them. And I'm particularly very happy with Tilly. She's the best. <laughs> I really enjoyed all that I've read from her. I think she's really unique. And I love her art style. Um, and I did read The Adventure Zone. You did get me into that. So I have read oh, uh, yeah. for a second. So, You're right. No. Okay. I almost forgot that was published by them. Mm -hmm. Congrats to them on their animated series, by the way. I got out. Right? Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. All right. So uh, for those of you at home, I don't know if you've read this book or not. If you haven't, uh, we will be doing spoilers. Just heads up. Spoilers. But if you don't mind, you still want to hang out with us. Cool. And if you've read it and you still hang out with us, well, great. That's that's the point, I guess. So, um, you know, normally we give like a quick synopsis, but that's. That's going to explain the complete story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, the best way I can describe this book, you know, for those of you who are interested in checking it out, would be this sort of like slice of life slash space odyssey. It's definitely a sci-fi. So I would classify it as a sci-fi um, with a little bit of, it's it's a sci-fi slice of life. That's Yeah, I feel like this would say. translate very well into like an anime or manga, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like, if this was a manga or an anime, they'd be like, oh, yeah, this is pretty typical. <laughs> right? You know, this you've got this girl going to all girls' school and then, like, but also dealing with this, like, all this stuff happening. There's obviously a lot of stuff happening in space around them. Like, they're not in a typical universe. Right there, there. And there is a little bit of back and forth um, with the time jump. There's some in the yeah. past, some in the future. Um, and it, it kind of clues you in by just the way the art is done, the colors. So that, mm -hmm. that was the biggest hint was the colors. This mm -hmm. is the past. This is now. So let's talk about really that. Let's, yeah, let's go ahead and jump into like. 
I'll show you some of this art, by the way, because yeah. it's gorgeous. So this is like um, the past, That's the past that we're referring to. And it's more like muted it's a cool, tones. cool color scheme. Yeah. And yeah, I'm, I'm going to put you on solo layout, Chris, so okay. you how to do it. <laughs> yeah, and here's some of the present Which is art. a warm color scheme. Yeah. Um, Which I love. Like, I really like. Past. <laughs> oh, how cute are they? Yeah, her art's amazing. I love the colors throughout this whole book. Yeah, I love, like, the harsh shadow she uses a lot, too. Mm -hmm. Like, I really think it, it gives you that feeling of being, like, in space, <laughs> I think. It's so nice. It's so beautiful. It's so also, easy. You got to show them how, how chunky of a trade that is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at yeah, this. Yeah, it's, it's quite Ooh. a chunker. I don't know if I, I don't have a regular trade near me. Oh, yeah, I do. It's also yeah. shorter. So four second books are usually like shorter than here's an average trade. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I was thinking I mean, that they feel more like manga quite junky. sometimes for me. Yeah, I would totally agree with that. And I think the length is very manga like too. Yeah. The length is very manga, and but it's it's not like it's dialogue heavy, but it's not. Uh, so it does, it's not afraid to like spend a few pages on just art. And just yeah. the story. Which I love that about it when um, Maddie was like, oh, let's do it on a sunbeam. I'm like, oh, yeah. And then I forgot how big it was. <laughs> and I got it from the library again because I read this in 2018. Mm -hmm. So it's been a bit for me. And I was like, oh, I need to reread it for sure. Oh, am I going to be able to reread that in time? Because it's over, it's over 500 pages. Yeah. But it doesn't. I saw feel it and I was like, it. oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah. But it was such a, it was actually a really quick read. Like, it, I, was, it is a, it's I forgot how good of a. Yeah, and you kind of get you get really sucked in. At least mm -hmm. I did. So it's like, oh, this is easy. I got this. Like, and you're right. Like some pages are just like art splashes and not a lot of dialogue, kind of like this. Mm -hmm. And so it's very quick. But then other pages will be like super dialogue heavy. That's not super, but that's more so. Yeah. I thought it was a great, a really nice balance. I was never like bored or like, oh, this is like you know. This is a lot. This what well, didn't feel like a lot at all. Oh yeah, no. for sure. Oh look. Well, thanks, Elliot. Oh, <laughs> thanks. Hi, if, Elliot. If you're still watching, if you could bring me some tea, that would be great. <laughs> He's in the other room. <laughs> Thank you. Yes. Uh, waiter. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at the art, it looks simple, but simple can be a good thing sometimes. I, I really think so. And I it's think it's open. That, I wouldn't say yeah. like the art is simple, but it's not. It, it would. It. I would classify as like open so there's some artists that, that leave a big open areas and it, it really does flow like it is open it's a little simplified as far as backgrounds go but don't I wouldn't like declassify it as just completely simple because it's, it's not a lot of the buildings and stuff I noticed details in it that were very complex she does do very like I mean, it depends, but I do feel like in this setting, a lot of the details as far as the buildings and environment mm -hmm. were like. And then there would be like intricate pages, kind of like this. Oh, yeah. Which is like, mm -hmm. oh. That's... Which is, and the, the characters were very almost kind of like quasi, like Akira-esque art style. Yeah. Like it harkens back to like the, the sort of like weird mix of American, like Japanese graphics. I don't know. Yeah, like a, Americanized and stuff. Yeah. And I do think, like, I think this kind of style lends itself more to this format, like young adult graphic novel format. Because mm -hmm. I, I, you know, I, like, you probably wouldn't see her doing, like, with Big Two. Not that I don't think she's capable. I think absolutely, yes, she is. But I think really her style is, is very well suited. The only downside I have to Tilly, and I love her, because, I mean, I have a lot of respect for her her illustrating and writing this book. Mm -hmm. um, the only downside, and I've talked to Chris about this before, but I can't always distinguish her characters from one another very well. I was going to mention that. This I do is, have trouble with that. Yeah, it's not just us, because uh, this is a common criticism I've seen online of her. Because, um, yeah, some of the characters look exactly the same, and they have the same haircut. And especially with the color work, it's sometimes hard, because usually I'm like, okay, you yeah, can... Yeah, there were two characters that I <laughs> yeah. had a hard time differentiating at first in this and I, I I got better at it and I was like, oh yeah, okay, I understand who this is. 
Um, I think personality wise, some of the characters are a little bit hard to distinguish too. At yeah. Times. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, you know, you're right. Cause the more you get to like learn about the character, usually you can figure out, Oh, that's who that is. But sometimes, you know, if you go back to a character and they're saying something really average or simple that any of them could say, it's like, Oh wait, who's this? <laughs> like, I got to try to figure this out now. Uh, my other criticism of this book in particular, and I can't really remember if I have this problem with her other books. I've read all her stuff now. But at least like right now I have good lighting in here. I read a lot of this at my work that has really <laughs> poor lighting. And I was having I was having a lot of trouble like reading some of these really tiny bubbles. Yeah. yeah. The text is very small. So I would have to move to better light to really see it. But this is some small text. So if that's something that you struggle with, I I don't know if that's good for people who may really need help with that, you know? Yeah, and I wish I had spinning in front of me because I, I, I feel like her font is pretty similar in all of her books. Yeah, it is. And it was a hard read on the phone. Like, I, was, <laughs> no, I should have read on my iPad, but I, I was imagine. reading on the phone and I was like, yeah, I can see that. That would be a problem. <laughs> yeah, which it, that's that's a downside, too, because I I there's something about and I'm, I'm very tactile when it comes to these books in particular. But man, there's nothing like holding it for a second book. It sounds so stupid, but they're just so, it, the paper quality is so and nice. The, and the covers, we're going to go back to, if you <laughs> guys so watch fun. Fangirls, we're always like rubbing covers and stuff. <laughs> we're always so rubbing funny. our faces. Yeah. They're oh. really nice. I swear I'm paying attention, but I'm keeping an eye on that kitty condo for cats. <laughs> Nina has eight cats, Mary. I do. I, there's <laughs> one craft in the room with me and he's, he's not very happy, but oh. he wouldn't get out. So I was like, you're stuck. <laughs> Mary, you've got to come visit and see all these cats. <laughs> also, the, the, the chat is really funny ever since I asked Elliot to carry something. <laughs> Reading of context, women get married because they're thirsty. <laughs> I mean, I, before I walked in here, he's like, here's your water. Here's your, and I'm like, great. Thank you. I'm a simple woman, okay? I'm thirsty and I just want to rub books on my face. Yes, that's, okay? that's our life, yeah. So that's what it's Through like. Me, <laughs> What's going on? No one talked about. We can talk about tailspin. I mean, I like no tailspin. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna do our tailspin show. Did anyway. tailspin do a comic? Probably. Okay. Um, well, they're doing the Disney Afternoon Giants right now, which are like annual size single issues of all the Disney Afternoon shows. So like I'm Darkwing just Duck mad I and like Darkwing Duck. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's the best. We gotta hold our goose to the end. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about our our main girl and our like our main two characters. So, how did you all feel? I know, I know, Chris, this is your second time reading. Tina, this is your first time reading. How did you feel about them and their relationship and like what they grew from it? <clears throat> like it, it, I actually thought it was going to swing a different way for just a moment. Like I thought maybe like the bully in her would kind of be a, a thing especially you know at the end but i like i get it it was a slow burn it was a slow romance but then oh, yeah. it wasn't a romance because like but then they kind of did get together where she's like well i know it's been you know like five years and you know i are we are we really even do we have feelings do well, we not I, can we talk about how gay that is <laughs> <laughs> like you know it's the most lesbian thing. Like, hey, I I've been looking for you for five years, and I've traveled the galaxy, and I've I've I commandeered the ship, and I I had them come find you. We went to all these dangerous situations. We, we all almost died. <laughs> so like, but do I do I are we a thing? I like me though because. <laughs> I love when um, like who does that? But I mean, you're right. It's, it's actually kind of refreshing to see that because in a normal storyline, like especially with a romance, it'd be like this is where they kiss and right. you know the sunset, and of course they're gonna be together. But there's that moment of like, are we? Well, I they left without me. Maybe maybe I stay. Maybe I don't. And then she's like, wait, you know, like I, I guess I'm coming. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, I'm coming. All right, I'm coming. <laughs> Yeah, I love when she gets off the horse. Uh, what what is her name? I can't think of her name. So the main character is Mia, and then the yeah. girl uh, Grace. 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 There we go. So when Grace gets off the horse, and she's like, "Hold on, what? You're here." 
<laughs> what's going on? You're coming? It's like, okay, you're in a plant, you're in a like <laughs> part of the planet that's trying to murder you, and she's trying to get out, and she's get yeah, she's coming. Like, get, yeah. wake up, girl. No way, I'm just gonna turn around. I just, you know, bye. Yeah, <laughs> see ya just came to say what up. It was a total power play. She just showed up to show that she could show up and say goodbye. <laughs> And I do feel like I, I think this book would translate really well to TV in a weird way because I think I think TV would be a good medium to like expand on this. I think it's a it's a neat premise. And again, it's very anime. Anime can do this very well. I felt like you know it started making me think of like Evan Galen <laughs> a little bit because you have these students that are in they're living their normal lives, but then they eventually they have to face these like all of these like space politics and things, right? Because you've got Grace who thank you so much. <laughs> you. you've got grace who is part of this big family you know this uh, i guess like nobility even who's from a part of space that is restricted you know so she has certain responsibilities and when she has to go home it means that nobody can really come to her right and but still the core of the story is not really about that but i love this like fantastical setting behind it i think that's really fun Three young readers. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, Omar's in Florida. <laughs> Omar and is in Florida. This and time. Omar and I are very close in age. <laughs> so, he likes to say he's like 20, but he's 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 in his 40s. I'm almost 40. <laughs> Which no one would ever believe. Um, so true. Thanks for joining in. Uh, basically, on a sunbeam is we've decided it's a slice, slice of life sci-fi space odyssey there you go That's yeah it's, it's definitely like a it's slice of life sci-fi yeah. <laughs> anyway, sorry go ahead oh i was gonna say with an all-female cast because we got to talk about it yeah no, let's, let's, talk let, about let's, that. let's talk about that yeah it was me because you know i i was talking you heard <laughs> we were talking about yeah. it before the show and i so i was reading reviews just to like get myself cut up again with everything and uh I never realized that there wasn't a, a man in this book. I picked up pretty quickly on that I didn't one. Even, I didn't even realize it. So it's, it's throughout the whole book, you don't see a single guy. They don't talk about it. They don't address it. Like, I don't, don't think even it's mention a man. Yeah. No, I don't think it's done as, in a way to be like, hey, it's like Amazonian. It's not like that, I don't think. I think it's just like, it just didn't happen. Um, and then you only have one character that does identify, as far as we know, female and they use they them they pronounce mm -hmm. that was yeah. really cool and i never even well realized and that was interesting to me so um that character who is non-binary would elliot? imply yeah elliot would imply there's a binary right yeah so mm -hmm. Because I was like, oh, maybe this is a planet. Because everyone, when they've mentioned their parents, it was all moms. Right. Yeah. Every character had two moms. Well, and Grace, oh, well, yeah, Grace like didn't that. necessarily have two moms. She just had a mom. That's true. They didn't That's talk true. about, all they talked about were the, the moms. Now, whether the father was missing or if it was two moms. Some of them are a little unclear. But Grace just had a mom. There was no father figure. There was no other mom mother figure mm -hmm. for um mia she had two moms yeah mia had two moms um i think there were some other people who mentioned their parents and they were well two moms. It, elliot it, i wasn't sure if that was their mother or their aunt there was some mm -hmm. relation between um said and elliot but that was also a woman figure that was very maternal like in elliot's life i, I didn't pick up exactly how they were related yeah, and I, you know, I, this is something I'd really be interested in, like, recommending to some of our readers. Because, like, for one, um, you know, we have we have some people who watch the show that, or watch watch the channel, that feel like there's a certain agenda. Because things are changing, right? They're changing to match up with, like, the world and how, like, people with, from all varying backgrounds and representation as being represented in comics now, which I think is really awesome. Now, some people feel like the, I don't want to, the agenda is pushed down their throats and thing, but this is a book. I don't think you can say that, <laughs> like, because it's just a, it's, a, it's such a non-issue. It's just it's like just here's like, the world. Take your hand. Yeah. It, it's not that it necessarily like. It was just like here's this world. And, you know, and that's yeah. That's the other thing about it that I like because I think 
Tilly did a good job of just assuming her audience is smart. I think a problem we run into with a lot of media, a lot of media, is that they feel like, okay, I need to over-explain this world right away. Mm-hmm. You, they immediately think their audience is dumb. We need to over-explain everything so they get it. Mm-hmm. That doesn't happen. It's like, here's the world, that's it. You just gotta, and she doesn't really take that much time at all to really explain it. You just have to figure it out by context and put it together. And I like that. I like the mystery of it. I like this whole world <laughs> that I don't understand. I do, I do. Yeah. Now that is my criticism though about it is I do wish the world was a little bit more fleshed out. For me, the planets or buildings seem to be floating in space. Oh yeah, so why was I, the staircase? <laughs> I, I was a little confused yes. on that. Like, I get the staircase. It's sort of like this separate, it's deep space. Yeah. It's a staircase, so it's actually a region of space. They don't go over it pretty clearly, but when they're talking in school, that's kind of a little bit of world building that Tilly's doing. But my confusion was these buildings they're going to, when they land on them, they're sort of just sort of floating out in space. So I'm like, obviously this is some type of world. They're doing something that's quasi magical with the work yeah. that these students are doing. I guess they're not students anymore. They're they're actually graduated, but they're doing some type of weird cosmic magic. It's not yeah, quite magic. True. It's kind of like a weird Star Wars, like the midichlorian. Sure. Don't right, on this <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's kind of magic. It's kind of not. So I get it. It's kind of like circuitry, but it's sort of like yeah. I don't know. It's it's out there a little, little bit. So I wish I, I got a little bit more meat from that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah that's- it's something like I think this is a very contained story. Like I said, over five hundred pages. We learned a lot, but there's still a lot of enough mystery and enough of me wanting to know what happens after this end Mm -hmm. that I'm hoping she creates another 500 page sequel (laughs) because maybe she can flesh out that world more. She can tell us more about what is happening with parents and like what that situation is just Mm -hmm. out of curiosity. Yeah. We don't need to know everything, but like we would like to know those answers and then also tell us what really happens after they're done and they pick her up and they leave like, yeah, right. Like, like I'm severely injured. Elliot's civil- severely injured. Yeah, right. Like but the they're all like, "Hey, we're fine." Are going to kill him, and then they're just like, "Hey, we're fine." Yeah, I, I breathed all this toxic gas, and it killed my. Yeah. Like, it killed Elliot's like a uh, mother figure, but. And I would love more backstory on that too. Yeah. Uh, real quick, let's catch up on these comments because they're killing me. <laughs> He's the man. You can marry a woman to get you water. That's right. But my wife didn't get me water. Aww. I got my own coffee. But if you asked her, she probably would, right? Probably, yeah, she would. Oh, she, she would. <laughs> the show's going to get flagged for mentioning Tailspin in the gay relationship <laughs> <laughs> same episode. You mean the best episode. <laughs> Whatever show. I mean, I'm sure there's a fan right. out there. All right, so next, we're going to make gay Tailspin fan fiction. Ooh. Really driving crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Um, too distracted by the cat contemplating all of his life choices. Yeah, Aries is. Yeah, I'm staring at him too. He's, he's like, how am I going to get out of this room, man? I'm trapped. No one will ever feed me. Um, I don't know what that's from, but whatever. I can tell you what that's from. We have a cat named Buffy, and she oh. bolts around the house like a little horse because she's like gallops, right? <laughs> so he calls her a horse. Hey, Candace, again. Awesome profile pic. Miss the manga anime show, so I'm going to hang here tonight. Oh, thanks. We do want to bring it back. We need to find a way to, to do it better that works for our schedules. We realized that, like, trying to keep up with all of the anime every month maybe wasn't the best idea. So we're trying to reformat it, think of, like, better ways to do it. Like, maybe, you know, do, like, top, our top, our favorite shoujo. Do, like, more, like, themed mm-hmm. episodes. That doesn't mean we have to be caught up on everything. So that way, it's, like, like, a way... Manga from the 1980s. That would be cool because there's yeah. a lot of like really good hidden gems. That... Oh yeah, and I'd like to. It, it gives us a good excuse to go back and talk about that. Kind Sorry, of stuff. my my wife just kicked a cat in here, so <laughs> it, mu- it must have been. Probably be clear her. that she didn't actually kick a cat. <laughs> no, 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 no. She <laughs> pushed a cat oh, in here. Damn. So, so it must that, be bothering that's her. That's a really good question. So, what would you compare this to? Like, would is there a comic or a manga that you feel like you could compare this to that's hard that is hard yeah i'd say it's a good thing it's hard because it's i think it's not a lot out here that relates it it is very unique um there's got to be some anime that makes sense 
Hmm. Wow, and then we went dead. <laughs> <laughs> We're like, uh... I got oh, another girl. cat in the room, so... I feel like... You know, it's hard, right? Because I, I can't relate it exactly. Because it's not really focusing on the space part. Because I think that as far as setting, there's a lot of manga I can, I can say is similar. Like, uh, you know, like Evangelion. I'm still depending on it. But uh, something like that. Or, man, there's a Gundam show I watched recently <laughs> that reminds me of this. And I'd say just as far as, like, pacing, I can't figure out a specific oh. manga that I can relate it to, but it feels like manga pacing to me, you know? What yeah. it reminds me of, and it's weird, I can't even think of the title. There was this, like, kid's book. It was about, like, a pegasus or unicorn, and it, it didn't have any words. It was just a visual story. And that's kind of the pacing it reminds me of, sort of like this openness, and then something uh -huh. happens. But this one's obviously got dialogue, and it's a weird just visually the way it's set up. Yeah. You know, I think it's just a book all of its own. Like right? That. I'd love for you to read it, Justin. I think i really like for a lot of you to read more uh, for a second as well. And I need to just have a first second show just so yeah. we can really talk through. Because I, I think on. as a publisher that a lot of like our book readers online aren't talking enough about. I really, I really want that to be pushed because we talk a lot about big two, we talk about image, we talk about dark horse, but and even boom, you know, I think, I think, you know, people do talk about boom a lot. I think you can talk about it more, but first second is one that people are just not talking about. And there's so many really cool books coming out. Well, I, I do. They primarily, primarily do young readers and young adult as their mainstay, correct? Yeah, that's and that's what I was gonna probably say why a lot of people aren't talking about it. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't they divest the younger comics or, you know, geared towards younger comics as sort of like, eh, eh it's for kids. And I think a they do a service to yeah, that. They, so they really write it off. Yeah. Yeah. When they shouldn't. Cause, cause you know, Maddie and I've talked about this, uh, Peter and Ernesto, the oh. a tale of two sloths. Okay. It's a, it's a comic about two sloths clearly aimed toward younger readers, but it's amazing. It's one of those things where I'm like, yeah, any adult will find something amazing within this book yeah. so and they come out with such big like thick thick uh traits and graphic novels and everything i've read from that publisher in the past year like i'd say 75 percent really listed a, a true emotional response from me like, yeah I, like lordy oh yeah. yeah come on look at that it's beautiful it's also from a, from a collector standpoint if you're talking about like books that are very well put together their trades and their hardcovers are very nice. The yeah. people Maddie, very you nice. also made me read Laura Dean. We could have done that one. Oh, oh. shit. So you read Okay. <laughs> did you like it? Yeah, I did. Oh, I loved it's it. It's pretty, right? <laughs> Let me kick a cat out. Okay. Hayden. Go on, Hayden. babe. Hayden. I will show without you. Just one more thing about for a second, I want to say, uh, you know, like I said, I got this from my library. And as Tina was saying, you know, her library had it, but it was checked out. First second books are so available at local libraries. So yeah. if you guys, you know, don't want to jump into this big honker, and you don't want to like buy it, check out your local library, especially for any first second books. Like they're really great about keeping those yeah. on the shelves. And those are usually very easy for me to find, like not so much in comic book stores, but like um, you know, like Barnes and Noble and Joseph Beth, if you have it, or like any of the main like bookseller chains, uh, usually I can find them there too. Comic book stores don't usually push those as much, but another thing I wish they would do. Uh, Matthew, the official day is Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> because we, well, because I didn't choose the book in time. Um, we, we did move it back to Thursday this week, but the official day is Tuesday and we will be back again on Tuesday upcoming and Omar will be back as well. And Omar will be back then. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, Tina, I need to ask if you'll do that show. I'll talk to you on the show. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <Catholic>. yes, I can. <laughs> 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 I think, I think Kate had the best answer to this question. Is this near mint old reader, new reader, <laughs> or fangirls live? Both. Both. It's old yeah. year, new reader, but you know, I, I like to steal Kristen over every once in a while to it's the show and hang out. It's a crossover of a, yeah. you know, we should just you do all three that. of us all the time. All the time. That's right. Taking over. <laughs> we'll bring you in for the manga talks, Kristen. Yes. Bring Let's me in for our new Marvel. 
face. Yeah. Yes. In fact, yes. We yeah, are rubbing this cover. It's so nice. It feels soft. Um, you say it reminds you of manga. What would you say American comics from learn, learn from manga and vice versa? You know, I remember you've asked this question before, and I need to remember to mark it down and do a full video, honestly, because I think... That's a great topic, yeah. It's a great topic, and it's a topic that would take an hour to talk it, about. It would. I would definitely say pacing. Um, yeah, pacing is okay. a lot different in manga versus in American comics. Um, not necessarily that either way is bad or good. I think if they just lent themselves towards each other a little bit, you, you'd you get a nice, even middle ground. Um, yeah. I think one thing I wish that American comics did that manga does, because it, it goes off what you said about pacing. Um, I think more like filler or like downtime. Mm -hmm. I think that's well, something I severely miss in Western comics that I wish I had. And it's something I've talked about a lot. You yeah. would get that with Spider-Man. So with Marvel, since I, I go back to Marvel, like Spider-Man was very good about allowing downtime. So you would have like a very meaty, like edgy, like emotional story. And then you would have the comic side of it. And so Spider-Man kind of would have some quip or there would be some light edge. So it would give you that nice space in between where I think a lot of comics now are focusing on like the character flaw and which is really good. It's really awesome when they introduced, you know, like this is a hero, but he has this major character flaw, but then they're making it edgy dark because that's what sells, but there's no, no breath in it. There's no space. There's nothing to just take a breath and say, Oh, here's a little breather before we get back into this, darkness and i don't see so much that to me it's just like it's like the go 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 really you think you know, they've action, got like action, the action 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 because action. Action. you've got your big bad and you've got your main storyline and they're trying to get through it now i understand part of the reason because they have to put this out six issues at a time basically with that in mind well and, and the action side it of it sells it, it, it really all, does it all comes down to singles honestly yeah because yeah, you know I mean, but that is the problem with the big two right like I don't so much care about that action stuff. I want to see the parts where Peter's at home, like freaking out about his life. <laughs> like that isn't, or, you know, surviving all the doom. Yeah. It was just like, oh, Mary Chain's mad at me. Like, I, that's what I want to see. <laughs> I did yeah. the laundry or I did the laundry wrong. You know, there's there's a scene in Detective Comics Rebirth. I think it's in Detective Comics and not Batman, but it's whatever. Where, um, you know, Bruce meets with all the with all the bat boys at a like a, a, a Batman themed burger joint. Like and an he tells them that he's getting married. And they're just like goofing and they're like picking on each other and you know Bruce is cutting up his hamburger with like a knife and a fork. And <laughs> Damien's upset that he's got a Jason Todd toy and his like happy meal equivalent. And it, I, it's such a short scene, but it's one of my favorite ones of all of that. And it's it seems like that that really make you connect with characters. That's something I've always said. Mm -hmm. Like you need scenes like that, downtime like that, to connect to these characters. So then when they get to the big crazy blow up thing, you're more invested. Mm -hmm. And they don't always do that. They don't always give that to you. And that's you that's what I was saying time. about the breath. There's no breath. Yeah, in there. exactly. There's no just pause to let life happen. They're all like, well you know what, we've got the next big thing. We've got to, got to go. And I think that is, it's sort of the issue uh, where it's coming out in these, you know, got to do the next big thing because that's what pushes the comics. And I, I get that. But for when you bundle it, you know, it just action, 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 action. Okay, I need to get us off this before we talk more. <laughs> Let's, we'll put a pin in it. We've got to make sure, we, we need to do a full show. We just need to schedule it and do it. <clears throat> Uh, first, second books never seem to go for crazy prices, collector's items on the, on the secondary market. That's true, which is nice. Uh, yeah, yeah they're, nice. they're good about keeping them in print, I think. Very affordable. Mm -hmm. I'm very happy about that. Um, <laughs> what are the tie-ins for this show crossover? Will there be a collector's <laughs> edition? <laughs> we should do that. Yeah, you've got to catch up. Um, we'll put like a reading list, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we'll give you homework. It'll be great. <laughs> I'll ask you what, what my cat's name is. Uh, the, Kristen, there are some mm -hmm. nice looking Marvel books behind you. However, I can't see what most of them are. Have you ever done a collection tour? And oh, would you be able to say what they are right now? 
Uh, well, I mean, there's quite it a bit. A while. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that, but I'll do a collection tour someday. Someday I'll do that. I think the goal is whenever Chris and I have a chance, I'm, I'm in her town visiting. We'll just film one. We were going to do a Cribs episode, weren't we? <laughs> yeah, we're, <laughs> we're, we're going to real cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> Here's my room. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you just like, can, we, can you just be like real mean to read? <laughs> <laughs> I, I want one of you guys to do like the the crib we'll away, music. Like, you should be like arguing the corner. And, like, just, like, yeah, yeah. Like, Get the camera out of my face, and we'll go back to your room to a video. So dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> These are all my chains. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maddie's been in this room. She likes this room. <clears throat> it's really nice, you guys. I know you can't see it all, but it's really nice. Thank you so much. I love Moomin behind you, too. I'm like, oh, it's Moomin. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, there. <laughs> oh, yeah, does, does. oh, no way. <laughs> Mirin. Uh, Matthew said uh, his favorite run of Spidey from the 90s dealt heavily with MJ and Peter dealing with being new. Mm-hmm. That's, that's 90s are, are my time. I love Marvel in the 90s. Just this, so much. This is the reason I tend to lean more towards independent titles. Yeah, there's a lot to be said about independent titles. We don't have to deal with a lot of the same, like, issues. That's with some of them, of course. There are some smaller publishers that we do have to deal with some serious out of print issues, but yeah. first second's pretty good about it. <laughs> Listen to what I'm saying, bring what I want. <laughs> <laughs> so good. Yeah. That's what Reed's here for, right? Reed's here for like, still watching. <laughs> yeah. And I still want the spouse show eventually, too. We have, we just need oh, yeah. Break. We oh, just need spouse. Elliot and Reed on camera, I think, because we've already seen them in the chat. You, like, <laughs> you guys saw yeah. that. You can't handle them in person. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, we should talk about the book. Well, we did talk about the book a lot. We did. Okay. <laughs> it was, it was, I mean, it's, I like it. Well, I really want you to read Spinning next. Oh, yeah. Okay. We should do a follow up Spinning episode. Yeah. It's so good. And that's another thing, too. Like, we don't, people in general, I think our community don't talk about graphic memoirs enough. And that is a beautiful, wonderful graphic memoir. Yeah. Ooh, that'd be a good theme show, it's, too. Yeah. A lot of really good. Yeah. Because you like, guys also need to read Tomboy by Liz Prince. Yes, I want to read it. Yeah. It's great. Man. Because, like, that, like, uh, Spinning's really great. Um, Alison Bechtel's hmm. memoir about her life. It, like focusing on her dad, the woman who invented the, the Bechdel test. Um, man. Fun home. Yeah. Really, really like that too. Um, really a lot of great ones. Yeah. Because like, you know, a lot of people deal with like fiction, graphic novels, but a lot of really good nonfiction. Mm-hmm. Under the Giant by First Second, I really, really dug that yeah, mm-hmm. a lot. Um, Pretty much all of Box Brown stuff is nonfiction. Yeah. Everybody read. <laughs> Every fight. <laughs> We're not fighting. <laughs> You're in the other room. Um, how does Moomin measure up against Pogo and Bone? That's a new question. I haven't read Pogo. I love Bone. Yeah, I haven't read Pogo or Bone. Uh, I I'd say the Moomin I have is like all comic strips. Yeah. So that's different. I mean, Bone isn't comic strips. Uh, I love Bone. I, I don't know that they're comparable. I think they're just great, both of them. I really need to read Bone. Like, I, I, there's been a few oh. people that bring up me and they're like, what do you have here? Let's do a Bone episode. Read with yeah. his mind. This I, I always saw it around and I never, I don't know what it was about it. It never, like, I never felt inclined to pick it up and check it out. It's great. Is it good? It's totally worth it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, real quick. Night, Freddy. She's always going to say Freddy. hi to Freddy. He's on. He said hi to you too, Tina. Hey! You're so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would like to read them. There's lots of I need to catch up on, too. I guess I need to read Moomin. I mean, we should. That's a really nice hardcover deluxe let's edition, bring in, too. Let's bring in the kids. We'll start with the Heidi Ho fellow kids. <laughs> we're reading Moomin today. Hey, and Tumblr like, kids. What up? All the Moomin cosplaying. <laughs> oh, my goodness. It's so weird that that's a thing. Like, that blows my mind. Oh. It's not even movement. It's um. Oh, what's the character's name? My brain's like dead from twelve hours of work today. 
pointy hat. Like the, yes, the pointy hat. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, <laughs> can I think of his name? At, okay, at Momocon, there was like four. Because I guess there's more than one pointy hat person. I don't know. There was, yeah, there's still there, a lot of different. There yeah. were like four pointy hat people vaping it, in a bathroom. <laughs> 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 Momocon. You know, I love how you're calling <laughs> pointy hat people. <laughs> What what is oh my goodness I'm dying now I'm like Snuffkin like, it's look it up. I don't know Snuffkin Snuffkin yeah Snuffkin Snuffkin like snuff and kin <laughs> um so you've taken a step back from comics you've been focusing more on manga and your mm-hmm. life do you think like this plus Laura Dean he's breaking up with me you think this could be a good like well I mean. In? Like it's not completely void. I've I've read you love, a you few. Love the and Paper Girls and stuff too. Yeah. yeah, I've read a few here here and there. Um, like that one summer I read recently. Um, oh, that so, one is also for a second. Is, is it for a second? Mm-hmm. Okay. This well, summer by uh, Marco. Wow. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Um, so I, I have read a few things. It's Heather, usually my wife brings them home from the library cause she works at the library and she's like, this was interesting. Why don't you read it? But I don't know, like I'm pulled in so many directions. It's finding time. No, I, I think that's, that's my biggest problem is finding time. Yeah. I'm really lucky cause I can go, I don't have time to read it. Stuff at lunch, I'm sure. And if, if it's, if it's like a manga or if it's, you know, like a graphic novel, I, you, you can't do an audiobook. Like, I can do podcasts and audiobooks while I'm driving to and from work, or if I'm working on insurance at work, I can listen to a podcast, you know, when we're done with patients, but I can't do that with a visual novel. Mm-hmm. I do feel like, like these young adult graphic novels are a great, like, next step. They are. They're like, quick. And I, like, actual, like, thick graphic novels are a great next step for people who are used to reading uh, manga, you know? Like, I think mean, it's a good recommendation to people. Is bones spooky? I mean, skeletons have bones. <laughs> <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's my field day. You guys. I know, like, oh my god, Elliot. <laughs> I'm sorry. Bone is also in a one volume edition collecting the entire story. Yeah, they've got I a big one. Real one, yeah. I need time to. There's some oh, like classics that I like I've missed out on. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, and that one seems like one that's worthy, like over, like Watchmen, because I read that catch up on classics. So I was like, I've read Watchmen too. That's recently. Well, within ten years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> recently, <laughs> like ten years ago. Oh my god. Uh, but next thing, I think you should, you need to, I need to lend you my Steven Universe all in one. Oh, yes. Yes. I've read a good deal from Boom of Steven Universe, but I haven't, like, read all of them. Giant octopus. What? I don't know. What? <laughs> Elliot, what Ignore are you doing? Elliot in the chat, you guys. <laughs> I don't know him. <laughs> Gonna marry that guy. <laughs> Well, I, mean, I, soon. <laughs> I reckon, I mean, if you guys have any questions or talk more about comics in the chat, let us know. We've got some free time until the end or, I don't know, whatever you feel like. I think we um, should say ultimately, totally recommend this. I oh, loved yeah. it. You have to rate it. What's everyone's rating? <laughs> this is a five out of five for me. Yeah. A five out of five. I would say yeah. it's about a four out of five. There's some questions I want to answer, and I wish her characters were a little bit more, I don't want to say diverse. They're diverse. I wish there was a little bit more to the character or they introduced more to the character. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. I'd say like, I'd say 4.5 or 5 out of 5. It's high. Like I, I, I super recommend it. But I do think I like spinning more. You do. Okay. I need to reread spinning because it's been about two years for me for that too. Yeah. yeah it did make me cry in a Starbucks in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> There's more crying and spinning. <laughs> And I tweeted at her. I was like, "Why did you do this to me, Tim? <laughs> Why did you do this?" <clears throat> Hayden really wants us to do Doctor. I, I've been wanting to. I just need to do it. I think even o- Omar has. Some, I don't think Omar's writing that stuff either. Of course, I don't think he's caught up. Like I'm caught up on Doctor Who. I didn't even know Omar read the comics for Doctor Who. Yeah, he does. I, don't... I, I know he's watched it. Like I've watched yeah. him, but. 
I mean, I want to get Maddie to watch all of Torchwood. I saw most of Torchwood. I yeah. shouldn't watch the American stuff. Uh, I want you to do that. Please. Okay. <laughs> Please do. I want you to do that. My wife hates, hates Doctor Who because she can't get over the British voices. But Torchwood, she loved Torchwood. Torchwood's the best. It's so good. Oh, I love it. I do love Captain Jack. I mean, I, I did Captain Cat Cartness. When I met him, at, right after. He's the only like, slippery I've cried like, around. <laughs> I mean, he grabbed my butt. No big deal. It's he fine. did grab Chris's butt. It's fine. That's it's pretty fine. great. I wanted it. It's fine. <laughs> it's it one of those okay. people you're yeah. like, yeah, it's okay. Just consent. It's fine. Yeah. I love him. Yeah, we'll add, we'll add Doc to the list. Although, uh, Chris and I are starting our Buffy. Oh, yeah. Read I know. I see Kristen's, all of Kristen's Buffy <laughs> back there. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's We're not even all of it. <laughs> Just some I mean, of it. Everyone get ready. I tried so, to give Maddie one of my Buffy comics I found. And she's like, nah, nah. <laughs> what? It was well, an older one. I think you may have already had it in a collection. Because mm. I was like, oh, I'm just going to give that this away. The only celebrity you cried around, I disagree. Those That's people true. were celebrities. They were comic book creators. <laughs> ah, Terry Moore's a celebrity. <laughs> Wait, and the, the voice actress of Lena Inverse? Did I cry around her? I think he did. I did dance there. Everyone's like, here's the person, here's the person. <laughs> well, it's hard for a cry all the time. Maddie cried around now. <laughs> yeah, who have, I cry all the time. I have never approached a star or a comic book creator because I just can't. <laughs> uh, who has time to reread something when there's so much backlog already for this lifetime? That's my Preach. video Listen. game, Paul. And not even just like comic book backlog. <laughs> Video games, comic book. Jokes in your hobbies is hard. God, I still want to replay so many video games, and I will. See, this is where my hyper focus comes in. It's very helpful, but it's also difficult because then I have to wait for the hyper focus to kick in for me to really get something done. <laughs> <laughs> Who's in that club where you're like, I've got so much to do, like video games, comic books. I'm just going to sit here on my phone and watch TikToks. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah. Hot twist is Illyria, and Maddie was like, nah, hey, me know that's not true. But that'd be Listen, funny. that Illyria is still at half price books, and I'm just waiting for it to go 50% out. I keep <laughs> checking it. I'm like, no one's going to buy it. Yeah, no one's going to buy it. No. But you. <laughs> Maddie's Maddie Grass is the finest books. <laughs> oh, we both lost our mind. What? Yeah. Wait, is when it... is that coming, by the way? Is that what? this year? Right? It's still happening. Has to be the oh, TV, you should have seen me and Chris oh. live. We had like the same the face and reaction. I guess. What? Yeah, Hayden told us. I think somebody screen capped it. What? Yeah, there's a real. It's, if you... it's like someone would be like, hey, Hannah Montana, the cartoon. Uh, no, that's not the same. <laughs> <laughs> that's not the same. Different. Come on. Spice I mean, World? for. It's classic. For like, like a no. younger generation, it will be. Well, that that's fair, right? Oh, never it totally is. <laughs> yeah, I think they're, it's Spice Girls as like superheroes too. Like, I think. Which is perfect. Yeah. It's like right exactly what we need in our life. Yeah. It's great. That, that's if, if the Bangles came out with a cartoon like 10 years ago for me. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Walk like an Egyptian. Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I'm serious. Oh, I can't stop looking at your cats now. Oh, are they cleaning oh, each other? Oh, it's so cute. Those are the twins. Oh. Oh, they're going to fight now. I remember when they gave me ringworm. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, that's contagious. Well, that's that's why we picked them up when we did. They because kids. they had fleas. They had ringworm. And I was like, babies, let me take you away from where you are and cure you. <laughs> yeah. She, she did a great job with the cats. <laughs> um, I did watch Harley Quinn on DCU. I love it. I mean, just 10 out of 10. I, when they first announced it, I was like, I don't know if it's going to be good. And especially because a lot of adult cartoons just don't do well. Like, they, they're just too edgy and it's dumb. Like, it, they just don't know how to really balance it. This cartoon is great. I want everyone to watch it. I think it's hilarious. I've it's, heard that from a couple of people. So, Tina, and I'm people I trust. I, both of you, I'll, just, I'll send you both my login. And you've got to. It's so good. It's so good. Like, these. They did it. They finally did it. It's really funny. They finally came out with something worth watching. Oh my god, it's so funny. <laughs> Sorry, did I say that? Like, I really like it. 
I really like it. It's so goofy, and it like um, they do a good job because like it's still good even if you don't know the characters. Mm-hmm. I think it's still funny, but if you do, it's just that it's even better. And I think like it shows like this to get you attached to those characters and make you want to read the comics. Okay, I feel like. Well, I love Harley Quinn. I loved her in, you know, the animated Batman, the animated, you know, when she appeared. Like, she's a great character. It's just like, it feels like Daria a little bit. I think, (laughs) well, maybe because Poison Ivy makes me think about Daria. Because of Jane. She's so Jane. Yeah. (laughs) It's so, it's so good. I, yeah, I think, I think this might. Harley Quinn would really more be like the cheerleader character in Daria. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. So good. Like, her crew is like Clayface, who I love. I already loved Clayface, anyways. He's become like a heartwarming character in Detective Comics. Like, <laughs> love, love, love Clayface. Um, and they've got like Dr. Psycho, who's the worst, but like, they comment on how he's the worst. And King Shark. Oh my God, <laughs> King Shark. And of course, Kite Man, guys, you don't understand. <laughs> I already, I already was a big fan of Kite Man. And let me tell you, they did not disappoint with Kite Man. There is so much, so much Kite Man. It's just so good. <laughs> Ellie is hey, Oh. But I do recommend fight. it. I think, you know, if, if DC comics are a little bit too much for you, there's a lot of really good DC animated content that's really, really good. And I think it's very, like, approachable to anyone. So definitely check it out. Also check out Justice League Action if you haven't seen it because of my boy, Booster Go. Booster Go. I still want to read Not Girl. Now you may be surprised by this. You see the name, you're like, I wonder what he does. He doesn't have any powers. He's a Batman villain that literally just has a kite. That's it. He just like. What's well, like One Punch Man, the like bicycle? What was that guy's name? Oh shoot! Oh my god, the bicycle guy. Yeah, oh. I know exactly who you're talking about. I can't think of his name either. Moomin Rider. Moomin like, Rider. Rider. Yeah, that's right. Moomin Rider. He's a villain, and he's like, he's an old Batman though. But they kind of recently brought him back in a weird way. Like he had a big thing in Tom King's uh, Batman Rebirth run. Like. And it's actually a really, really good, really good story. And I also recommend, um, I think it's Nando B movies. Ellie, you're watching. Tell me if it is or not. But did not April Fools about how Nando? Nando, I think Nando B movies. He like um, he'll look at movies and tell like say ways he, he'd like to make it better. And he did a great one with Justice League, but he did one on April Fools for Batman, and I thought it was very convincing. Where it should be. He looked the village should have been Kite Man the whole time. It would have been so much better if it was Kite Man. <laughs> and he did it as a joke, but honestly, I watched the whole thing. And I was like, yeah, it should be Kite Man. You're right. That would be so much better. If it's memory so serves, Kite Man like, was just like a robber, wasn't he? Um, In the original Batman. Let me pull it up. It's worth it, though. <laughs> I mean, I va- my vague knowledge of DC, like, obscure <laughs> characters, I think he was just, like, this part-time robber, and he, he used kites or something? Like, I remember him, because this was the period of time when I was, like, trying to find, like, weird, obscure characters, and at that time, it was, like, Marvel and DC, I was just, I just felt at that period of time, they were like, we've got to make a hero or a villain before they do, what can we use? <laughs> Iron, <laughs> Iron Man. <laughs> I tell you, this is so dumb. It's so good. Um, Here's his his abilities. Excellent hang glider pilot. Uses a variety of gimmick kites. That's it. He flies the big kite strapped to himself. He also uses a barrage of kites to overwhelm his enemies. (laughs) He was a good guy turned bad guy, basically. But he he has a very, very good story in, in, in DC Rebirth. So I, I do recommend them. Okay. It's like a one piece villain, honestly. He kind of looks like Peridot from Steven Universe, like the yeah. diamond thing going on. And true, everyone, please watch Nano movies. Okay, if you if you like movies, you like comic book movies, Nano movies is like the best YouTube channel to watch them. Like, 
please, please, please. I've been trying to force my friends to watch his fix of the Justice League. It's in four parts. It takes an hour to watch all of it. He made the perfect Justice League movie. And I just don't know how to make my friends watch it. <laughs> I've been trying to get, I would tell you over to watch it for like a year. Please watch it. Um, as far as DC goes, this would be a question just for me. Do any of you limit your readings to certain eras? Not necessarily, but yes. Like, not on purpose. Like, I primarily um, have only really read Post-Crisis, New 52, and Reaper. Um, I've read some of the older stuff, but not a lot. It just doesn't lend itself to my taste, <clears throat> honestly. Um, so I tend to stick to newer stuff. There's a, a little bit of exception that's uh, Titans. So anything with, like, the OG Titans crew, I'll read. But mostly I, I stick to the newer stuff. Um... Yeah. <laughs> some of the Golden Age is interesting. I've I've read some of the Golden Age. I, but I, don't, I don't read a lot of... I don't read DC. I wasn't a DC fan. Uh, because, like, I don't know. It just seemed like that. my grandfather's comics. There's so many good <laughs> I, that's, That sounds bad. I don't mean it. Like, I like a lot of the new DC that I've been seeing. But, like, I... I yeah. Superman <laughs> wasn't my thing. I'll change it. I'm gonna. We're gonna do an over your new reader with you guys reading Superman. Like it's gonna happen. It'll be if Mark Wade. Oh, that's right, Kristen. You don't like Superman. You know you are. I don't. Why are you get you to like the... Superman? It is Mark Wade. Okay. I do Mark like Mark Wade. Wade. Okay. He was my Wade of newer. Honor. I mean, like Superman literally. You know that, Tina. Mark Wade was Kristen's Wade of Honor. That's right. I made that joke. <laughs> it's really good. Yeah, we, we did an interview with him the day before I got married. So okay. I called him my weight of honor. And I didn't even know you were getting married, which is still the funniest thing to me. <laughs> I just thought you were going to a wedding. Yeah, she's like, what? <laughs> like, no. Is this real? Oh, man. <laughs> well, it's 9 o'clock. Um, this has been really fun. I, I would like it's to do casual. more of you, Even if they're not old reader, new reader. We should do a few. We should hook up again. I'm it's in. always so fun. Looking forward to this. And thank you all to everyone who tuned in. Really thank appreciate you. you chilling with us. It's always nice to see you. Old Rear New Rear will be back on Tuesday. Uh, the plan is to read Sunstone. I meant to invite Tina earlier. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, surprise, Tina, I hope. I need, I'll bring the books on Saturday. I'm not hearing anything on Tuesday. I think I need it. Did I give you back your copy? No, which is perfect. Okay, <laughs> I'll finish it. I need to finish it. I'm midway one. through. My <laughs> wife was like, this cannot be left on the coffee table. I'm like, no one's coming over. And she's like, "I this cannot be left on the coffee table. <laughs> yeah, so join, join me and Tina and, and, and Omar on Tuesday for over your new reader reading Sunstone. I'll put my um, hair up and, and look like a sexy librarian. If you would like to see me and Kristen again, catch us on Sunday, probably, for Fangirls Assemble. <laughs> you never know anymore. Well, you know, we do our best. <laughs> yeah. We'll update you. That's all we can do. Yeah. It will be the day after my bachelorette party, so I'll be... So, I'll so be you fine. may be like, we're not doing it this day. <laughs> no, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. I, I have Monday off. So. Oh, uh, it'll be Monday then? No. <laughs> we could do on Sunday, Tina. We could do Monday. Kind of dog us. Dog us like that. Actually, we can't. Never mind. <laughs> um, and, and don't forget, we have. I'm doing. I gotta do the spiel, right? I hope you like this video and subscribe for future videos. We have a red bubble a and a up. Patreon stuff. Uh, really. If you like, call. please subscribe. Comment down oh, below. Friends, you know, <laughs> hang out. <laughs> Anyway, I gotta stop. All hang right. out. Come hang out with us. Be our friend. We need more friends. That's right. I'm so We love you guys. <laughs> we all have a good night. <laughs> Talk to you all soon. Goodbye. Bye. We don't know Bye. when. <laughs>